Hello and welcome to my presentation. I'm Stephen O'Callaghan and today I'm going to present my final assignment, individual project for HMC construction and the built environment. First of all, let me introduce you to the project brief. Work as an assistant project manager for a construction company, I have been asked to redevelop a brownfield site. For this, I have cho chosen Bellevue House on Cochrane Road in Barnsley, which the Educational Authority Barnsley College wishes to sell off to raise money. As part of my role, I am also to, su to suggest the usage of the site utilising innovative materials and construction techniques in line with sustainability build policy. As part of my research into potential innovative and sustainable material techniques available for use, I will also consider the risks associated, identifying advantages and disadvantages for each element. The aim of the assignment is to purpose build a project that utilises a brownfield plot and incorporates emerging modern construction materials. The first step I had to take was to identify potential uses for the site. So to do this, I undertook a SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis shows that each idea has strengths and weaknesses, which could play a role in determining how the site should be developed. With this information, I um, will go forward and complete a desktop survey so that I can better understand the potential and constraints of the Bellevue site. Um, and this will help me identify realistic purposes for the site. I undertook a desktop survey. This map here shows the purpose Bellevue site and the surrounding areas, um, as well as the associated risks highlighted on the map. So some of the um, risks that I identified was sound pollution. The site is surrounded by railway lines, which could cause sound annoyance. So the pro proposed solution for this would be to use a sound deflecting barrier. Another issue I identified was trespassing. Lo the site is located near to public right of ways, students and local residents with the potential for trespass onto the site whilst under construction. The solution I propose to this could be to use temporary site hoarding until the project is complete. Um, another issue would be site access issues. Access to the site is in a residential environment and close to an awkward junction into the main road with poor visibility. The suggestion I suggest, the solution I suggest to this would be to choose an appropriate project to build, which will not create a high percentage of traffic, creating a dangerous and annoying situation. After discounting ideas such as a hotel, supermarket and um, student accommodation, my final chosen project would be to produce and build a bar and restaurant. Um, one of the main reasons for this is there's a lack of social facilities in the area, which has a good local population generating a custom base and would add to the local economy. Um, other reasons are the supermarket, as already stated, would generate too much volume of traffic. A residential development wouldn't see the profit required and a hotel has a lot of competition in the area. <clears throat> the next thing I did was produce a project specification which identifies all the elements required for the build. Um, the specification has chosen specific material and construction techniques to incorporate an environmentally friendly, friendly and renewable alternative traditional building techniques. The site must utilise innovative construction techniques, must champion environmentally friendly and renewable sustainable solutions, and must be socially considerate whilst construction is underway. <coughs> Here are some examples of my chosen materials and techniques which I propose to use. The foundations would be rubble trench foundations. This is a traditional technique that has been used for thousands of years utilising loose stone rubble um, to reduce the need for concrete and improve drainage. This technique was popularised by American architect Frank Lloyd Wright and is being regarded as an environmentally friendly foundation alternative. Another modern construction material and technique would be to use timbercrete which is made from recycled waste, cellulose, cement, sand and blinders, which is cured using the sun and wind, sun and wind once shaped into a, 
a brick or block shape. It is incredibly environmentally friendly and sustainable due to its manufacture from waste materials and low embodied energy use for manufacture and traps carbon during curing. When compared to clay bricks and concrete blocks, it is stronger and has a higher insulative value, as well as being around 30% cheaper to buy. Another one of the components which I intend to use would be to use glue lamp beams and a frame. It is usually used in an alternative to structural steel and to concrete because it is moldable and has a high strength. Glue lamp is extremely environmentally friendly, renewable and sustainable because it is made from wood, which grows naturally, and reinforced with layers of fiberglass, which has low embodied production energy and made from glass fibres, made from natural sand, making it recyclable. To heat and cool the building, I propose to use an SRC heat pump, which produces less, than, less CO2 emissions than a traditional heating system and works on renewable sources, air making it an environmentally friendly option. <clears throat> the next thing I did was to um, identify resources, costs and timescales. As you can see here, I produced a spreadsheet and a pie chart which takes into account the elements and timescales and costs. To best identify potential resources, costs and timescales, I decided to make a spreadsheet with formulas which will automatically update as I input data and create a pie chart which indicates the percentage of the budget used on each section. I have split elements into project build phases and as I would anticipate those to proceed on site once the build has commenced. This will aid me when producing a project management plan. <clears throat> With that information, I then moved on to producing a project plan using industry standard software such as Microsoft Project Manager. To build a project management plan, I decided to use industry software Microsoft Project Manager. My plan shown here is an overview of the process, resources and timescale required from start to completion of a project. Timescales and resources are updated automatically and data is input in an accurate result. <clears throat> With all that information, I then moved on to looking at the site to decide how best to fit the building and the grounds into the outlined area. As you can see here, in the red, within the red line, Currently, the site is used as a car park overspill for Bellevue House. My proposal is to redevelop the site using half of it as gardens and the site for the building itself and the rest of it for car parking. This is the existing site plan. That is the proposed site plan. The next thing I did was to start design development. The development on the right here shows the proposed front, back and side elevations for the bar restaurants we built on Bellevue's site. I made a conscious effort to try and make the building as visually exciting so that it adds to the local community and provides an exciting environment to be within. This is the front elevation. As you can see the glue lamp frames. It's a side elevation with a balcony. Rear elevation with rendered walls. And side elevation again. Here are the floor plans for the proposed development. This is the ground floor development. Uh, ground floor plan, access, bifold doors which open out onto seating area, stairs which go to the first floor, disabled bathroom, customer toilets, kitchen, staff changing room and staff WC. On the first floor which you would access via the steps there are more customer toilets, another kitchen for the restaurant, and balconies for customers to sit out on access by bifolding doors. And these dashed lines here represent the glue lamp frame. The yellow squares represent timber 
and the red sections are uh, indicate steel, steel frame. After producing my drawings on an AutoCAD, I then moved on to using a 3D model software so that I could elementary build the structure. These images here show how I built the model on the computer at stages. So first of all, I inserted the glue lamp frame, then I started inserting block work, floors and steel frame, and eventually windows and doors. And finally, I move on to 3D visual, which I produced from the model to show how I intend the building to look once it's completed. Car parking, seating area, and this will be the front of the building with a customer entrance here. Um, the golem frame curves round in an arc. Then it's got a zinc roof finish with some glass sections to let light in. Um, only a section of the side and the majority of the rear walls will be block work and rendered, and then the rest will be glazed. This image here shows the access to the site coming in past Bellevue House, into the car park and ultimately to the building. And as you can see here, the, that's the glazed section, zinc section, glass section and glue lamp flame overlapping and coming outwards with skeletal um, exposed. Here's another view of a proposed building. It's quite a nice angle. You can see how it's the glue lamp flames bend and twist round, creating an in, um, an individual shape of interest, whilst the building itself is set within that frame and is majority glazed. This is the front elevation as I intend it. The glue lamp frame is held by steel connectors. This is seating area, customer entrance, and bifold doors which open up onto seating area, glazed sections, zinc roof, rendered block work. Another view of a proposed building. And here you can see the rear of a building which would house majority kitchens and staff working units. The rear of the building again showing um, staff unit and also where the ventilation system would be stored. These are visuals of the interior, so that would be the ground floor from both different angles. Polished concrete floor, industrial style staircase. and a view of the first floor interior. So the stairs come up, there's a glazed balustrade, polished concrete, timber floors, bifold doors, and exposed beam work. This is a rendered version of the site plan from a bird's eye view. So as you can see, the access is here, you come in, car parking, then this would be seating area paved and be a path going all the way around the building for easy access to maintenance. These triangle cutout sections are glazed sections which approach within the building so that it lets abundance of light in and the rest of the roof will be constructed from zinc. And then this is a close up of the roof line. And that's it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Um, have a nice day. Bye.